Hi, this is Nick from Wirestorm, and welcome to Wirestorm's Tech Corner. Today, we're going to be discussing how to output audio from a display's built-in web apps using the audio return channel function found on a variety of Wirestorm products. You may be wondering, what is ARC, and how is it used in a system? Audio return channel, commonly known as ARC, is the ability to take an audio signal from a display through an HDMI cable and transmits the data to an AV receiver or audio processor. This gives the user the ability to bypass the display's built-in speakers to allow for a more immersive audio experience. You may wonder if your equipment is capable of ARC, and if so, how do you set it up? This is a great question, because there are some things you need to know before you start plugging things in. On most displays manufactured after 2009, there will be an HDMI port labeled ARC, which is the input you'll be connecting to. It is also important that your AV receiver has this ARC port as well. The next note is to make sure both your display and AV receiver's CEC is enabled, as ARC is a function of CEC. ARC is not limited to the length of your HDMI cable, as Wirestorm offers HDMI over category solutions in extender set and matrix form. ARC compatible products will include extender sets or HD base T receivers that include ARC in the model name, such as the EX74K ARC and the RX74K ARC. Also, H2 and H2X HD base T matrices that contain an ARC transmission card. With both extender and matrix solutions, the user will have the capability to send an ARC signal up to 70 meters bidirectionally over category cable. This allows ARC to be extracted from either the display or the source to accommodate the location of the AV receiver. The digital audio can either be extracted via HDMI or Toslink cable for further accommodations. To extract ARC from the display via HDMI, follow these two simple steps. First, you will need to set the audio control to TX switch on the receiver to ARC, and then you will simply set the audio output switch to the RX ARC position. Once these switches are set in this way, ARC will then be extracted from the HDMI. Now, to extract ARC from the display via optical, you'll need to set the audio control to TX switch on the receiver to local SPDIF in. Lastly, the audio output switch on the transmitter to RX ARC. From there, digital audio will break off from the digital outputs on the transmitter. Do note that the audio signal will be sent to the transmitter only and cannot be broken off at the receiver. Extracting audio from the source side is just as easy. Simply set the transmitter's audio output switch to local source with no regards to switch placement on the receiver. To utilize ARC in a matrix setup is just as easy. To extract ARC from the display, simply set the audio return input switch on the receiver to ARC. This will then allow the audio to be transmitted to the corresponding digital audio output that is selected to the matrix. Lastly, the receiver has the capability to break off digital audio through the SPDIF outports from any input source selected from the matrix, regardless of switch placement. For more technical specs and documentation, you can visit us at our website at wirestorm.com. If further assistance is needed, just give us a call at one 844 280 WYRE. My name is Nick, and we'll see you around the corner.